Hello, greetings, this is Gilles Mercier. I'm called to return today to continue this discussion about the spiritual ascension process for there is a great deal that is happening for our right brain and left brain are being uh, coming together in a unified fashion as our subconscious, our conscious and our superconscious are fusing progressively to connect to this interconnected matrix of the, of the, of, of the universe, to become more, to, to connect to this macro consciousness and it is really happening. A lot of things are happening behind the veil. There is a lot of, uh, of very positive galactic energies that are fueling this matrix in order to create that. And from one day to the next, we are we may re, we, we may find ourselves in this in this new reality, in this new earth, in this new collect. So it is about holding on. Most of it has been transmuted. Ninety percent of the program has been transmuted. It's the last ten percent that still needs to be done. And so we are, we are, we are, we, are we, we have to let go of all those things that are no longer part of what is the highest good. It, it, it requires, it requires certain, um, a, a certain courage, a certain effort in order to let go because the ego is still there and saying, no, I want to hold on. No, you're, you're not good enough. No, you, 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 you you will fail or you have failed or well, well, there is no failure failure is an illusion of the ego and it's the ego still has some power but we will we'll slowly but surely we are able to to elevate ourselves behind that so that we can channel this diamond light this diamond light of uh, of creation those diamond particles of light um, understanding when it's, the, the I is God for the the I is not the ego. The, say I am. Make sure you, you always place something positive behind the I am. Or otherwise, you're creating something that is not wanted. So realize sometimes that when, when you say I am something, it's, you're qualifying and you become that whichever that is. It's we're becoming very powerful being. We always had all the powers of creation within ourselves. The freedom has always been there. It is just our consciousness was on a very wasn't um, attuned enough to realize that the, those power of creation were, were, were there and the, the power of freedom was always there within our hand for we are the creator. So the highest wisdom for us today is the effort. There is a little effort that needs to be produced. Uh, there, is a, there is always a little bit more effort. It is, it's tiring because we're processing and processing and processing. And so we have to, to deal with that. But it's uh, physically, mentally, emotionally it's tiring. But very soon the process, we're going to feel this liberation and we'll be happy that we've been through all that to be, uh, the, once we find the freedom at the end. What we need to understand is the paradigm shift to move into separation, to unity, from fear into love, from from, from bondage into, into freedom, so from, from lack into abundance. All those things is what we need to understand. It is this great shift of energy. What we need to do is birth, is to be reborn, it's to be born into this new energy, to be born into a new frequency of spirit, into our higher self, to allow our higher self to be, to be born within ourselves. And the outcome will be a transformation, a deep transformation that is uh, that is happening, and it is we have to to accept the transformation, to accept the change, to let go of the old. Uh, I was talking about the, the. I wanted to talk about the Ra. The Ra is, is a solar being that that, we, that all the Egyptian god was solar beings. They come from Sirius originally, but they were uh, they, they were um, most of them, some of them from, from other places. They were come from the whole universe in a sense. For there, they were very different. Um, but they were a collective of intelligence, which the father was Ra. And Ra was a solar being that came into Saturn, this temple of creation, in order to create those timelines to assist humanity in towards the salvation and the freedom beyond the mortality. And so, so we do need to create this rainbow bridge to return to our soul nature, our soul nature. I uh, also wanted to speak about Horus. Horus is a beloved uh, brother and friend who's, who's an assistance to humanity. All those gods of mythology are here in behind the veil, working to, to assist uh, assist humanity with their um, with their path of evolution and to learn to look through the eye of Horus, to look through the eyes of God. To, we can see so many things. It, uh, those things are uh, we are allowed to 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 use uh, to use our psychic power to 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 uh, authorize our, ourselves to, to, to see things through many eyes and through things through, because Horus is very far, he sees very far in the past, very far in the future, he sees many things, and so we want to call him and thank him for his assistance. 
We also want to call on the assistance of the, the Ascended Dragon Collective. For the Ascended, uh, as a person, I'm a dragon, ascendant dragon in, the, in Chinese astrology. So that means I'm very perfectionist. I have this fire, that passion, very passionate. The dragons are very passionate. And, uh, but they're very, very intelligent. Dragons are six-dimensional beings. They are the guardian of the sacred fire. But there are two sorts of dragons. There are dragons because human beings have been dualized dragons and some dragons have been implicated behind the veil to 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 fuel all this this the, the dark matrix so those were the dualized dragon and there is the ascended dragon that are here in assistance we have the golden eyes if you meet a dragon that has um, dark eyes you, you you get a watch and just uh, just uh, call on your, your 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 ascended dragon to 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 diffuse that energy uh, for the ascended dragon collective will assist us in reconnecting to the sacred fire of the soul. Um, I also wanted to. I was looking at the documentary from India, and in India they were saying that there is only one thing that is really not wanted in astrology is the the moon in Scorpio, and I have my moon in Scorpio, so it says it well, those are crazy mad people. <laughs> but whatever astrology we have, it is really to ascend, to transcend. It's all perfectly organized so that we chose that time in order to have that those imprint, astrological imprint, so we can transcend the lesson that we need to transcend and gain the power that we need to gain. Well. In many sense, since uh, in India they look, at, they don't look at uh, um, tropical astrology. They look at Vedic astrology. And in Vedic astrology, I'm not a Pisces. I'm a Virgo, and my moon is not in Scorpio. It's in Libra, so I don't even play into that. But even if your moon was in in Scorpio in Vedic astrology, you still, you still, it is exactly what you need in order to to transcend, to ascend. Um, and so. Um, Understanding the moon is very powerful. The moon is controls our emotion. It is not a natural satellite of the, of the Earth. We'll find that out later on. But it has integrated the Earth system. And it is the perfect complement of the sun. We have this eye of the moon and the eye of the sun. And the, those, those conditioning, one eye leads to the ego and the other. Uh, and the, the other eye leads to the soul. So it is it is the, the blending and work with the moon because the moon controls all the water, the tides, and the tides are connected to emotion, but we're made of water and sometimes there is high tide and sometimes there is low tide. So it's like when there is low tide, understand the tide will go back up. It is not to get uh, desperate, uh, to find despair in low tides to, and, and exalted in high tides is to understand the process and to work with the moon, work with the emotion. There was a philosopher in 18th century who was king. English philosopher who was named Ulm, who believed that emotional intelligence was superior to intellectual intelligence. So it is the intelligence of the heart to work in this maturity of emotion in order to move into a feeling state. So those are very important understanding to move into trust and faith and to and to allow that to to work with this uh, with uh, with our emotion for our emotions when it can, can bring us to the heights of, of ecstasy but they can bring us down to the, the the depths of despair as well so we want to bring the balance into things i'm going to pull a few cards for the chakras to see what the, the angels may reflect to us on that level chakras are energy system that are invisible that are connected to our that are connected to our light body and we want to ask the angel to align our chakras to align our chakras each and every day so they can open, clear up all the blockages that may be happening in any chakras and to breathe through it, to align in this pillar of light on the vertical axis, this is important. On the base chakra, the, the root, it is, it is a chakra that's on the bottom of our spine. And here we have, it's where all the lessons are, it is governed by Pluto, it is where the, the root, the base, and here we have, uh, we have, um, Droiture, which is uh, which is a righteousness. It is we we have to be straight. We have to be right. We have to, not in the matter of righteousness. I, I am right and you are wrong. But we have to align ourselves with the highest, the highest truth, the highest good. To be as straight as possible. And the second chakra is the navel. It is the sacral chakra. The chakra of harmonization is a sexual chakra. It is governed by by Saturn and it is it is also governed by the, the astral astral body. And here we have the request. We we have been called to to uh, we are requesting certain things. We have been requested to to be uh, to be aware, to be enlightened. This this call came from deep within ourselves, and now we're seeking, and we'll find what we seek. So it's continue to making the request you need. Then in the the solar plexus is the solar power. Those first three chakras are uh, creative chakras. 
Most humans only use those three chakras. They don't even go to the heart or below above. But uh, as light workers, we align to all six, uh, seven, and, and then the 12 chakras uh, on the upper planes as well that connects us to, to our light body. So this, this chakra is, is governed by Jupiter. It is, it is a solar power. It is, uh, and here we have generosity. We need to be generous for the life. Is, the more we are able to be generous, the more life will be generous with us. And then the heart chakra is governed by the sun, and it is a neutral chakra that connects the three creative chakra to the three receptive chakra, the seven main, uh, seven dimension of being that we need to ascend to. Uh, here we have uh, the fourth dimension, the fourth chakra. This is, here we have the light, and the light is uh, the light is our true nature. It's the essence of our soul. It is the essence of, uh, of, of the, it is the sun. It is it is the light. It is it, everything is made of light. It is our true nature, and we need to connect. Light is also information. Light is wisdom. Light is light is love. Light is you. You are light, and just continue to co cultivate that light within your heart. And then in the in the in the fifth chakra, which is governed by Chiron, it is it is a, that we share with our I am presence that's residing in the sacred the sacred heart in between the the, the, the throat and, and the heart. We, we have this chakra of purification. It is purification. There is a need to purify in order to canalize more of this diamond light to, to become more uh, this white light of uh, golden white light of the Christ to become the to, to as we, the more we are able to purify, the more we'll, the sooner we will be able. To to come into our full, the full extent of our own uh, sovereign self. Then the sixth chakra is the third eye. It's very essential chakra. It is the seed of consciousness, and um, it is governed by ne Neptune. And here we have the authenticity. We have to be true to ourselves, to sign on self, be true. As uh, I think it was Hamlet that was saying that, and later on Hamlet says, if you are true to yourself, you, you, you cannot be untrue to anybody else, for there is only one truth that you, once you are authentic, so we want to be authentic, we want to, not to judge ourselves when we are not authentic, but to, to know that and to correct whatever needs to be corrected in order to surround her and, and, and become authentic. And what we see on the crown chakra is governed by Uranus, it's like a disk of light that connects us to the higher plane, on the, on the pillar of light is the solution, there is the solution that is right that is that's manifesting they will come come in then below our feet we have 30, 30 centimeters 12 inches below our feet we have this earth star chakra that connects us to mother earth and all the physical plane and here we have the triumph so there will be a physical material planetary triumph with the, the victory of the light but it's also a personal uh, personal um, success that is manifesting that comes from the earth that the earth will bless us from and then on, we have a merkaba um, um, that's about 12 inches above 10 to 12 inches above our head that is spinning it's a silver light that's called the soul star that we share with our higher self and here we have creation there's going to be a, the whole light of creation will come into our consciousness we're going to be able to reconnect to, to those higher planes and, and to dissolve the lower aspect of the self in order to integrate those other higher parts of the self well i hope this resonated with you i i wanted to to say uh, just to to um to, to, to say that the, this whole matrix is the, of domination of the masculine over the feminine is ending. This, uh, the, it's, it's not to create a matriarchal society, it's to bring balance into the energy where the masculine can protect the feminine and protect the love and the, and so so it is all uh, it is all part of the process because there's, it is we, this this matrix that we we live in is, is because there is a very old ET deception the ETs the negative extraterrestrials that have abused the program that are controlling that are the masters of all those who are controlling this Earth program as those ET leaves because they are no longer welcome here they don't feel like they can control it anymore they have too much karma so they want to leave and so the, the, all all those humans that control this system will will uh, will, will um, all the program will fall because then they will no longer be supported for this uh, this whole program has been uh, the, the DNA program has been manipulated so it's right now it's in the process of being restored to restore to its original state uh, for, by uh, by extraterrestrial for the purpose of creating a, a race of slaves to create mortal beings when we were like far more than with that we, we knew ourselves as more of that when we first came here and so the, the one of the example is that the childbirth childbirth was not never meant to be painful but it is because of those those 80 man Manipulation that childbirth is is, uh, is painful in the future. The, the act of childbirth will be a joy for the child and the mother. It will be we're going to be restored to that original um, 
state of being. And uh, also, I was asked to, to speak about cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies, I was very dubious about it because to me, money, in order to be money, to be real, there has to be backed up by some kind of a real asset like gold, platinum, silver, diamond that will guarantee the value of the paper. And in there, it's like there is nothing to, except the speculative aspect, there is nothing that gives value to those cryptocurrencies except the, the idea that it's speculative. And so to me, it's just another smoke and mirror. But what's interesting uh, in this, in this, uh, this process process is that they've, they've created um They've created a technology that's really secure, that 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 can that so far I think it has not been able to be hacked. So this, the technology is pretty good in that, because uh, what, whatever's on the internet is nothing is safe. It's one of the very big issue of this time is to make security and, and online security when nothing, everything is been spied on, it's been it's been collected, it's been resold. Uh, they, they know a lot more and they they spying a lot more than they 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 actually able to claim because otherwise they would be take themselves into the into the the hand in the in the jam in the, the bottle of jams you know it's like they're gonna if they would reveal what they, what they're doing they they they, they can only use it so much because otherwise they would be cut with their hand in the, in the bag. So, uh, but in a sense, whenever you open a, an internet page or you, whatever you do, there is, a, there is all kinds of spying energy, spying technologies that analyze your, your emotional relationship to the image that is being presented, and then it's analyzed and resold, and and, and so so eventually some of those people um, and everything will be turned out for, for to serve humanity, and some people may have to go to jail. When people will know all this. Uh, those crimes against humanity, but uh, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to say that uh, um, technologies, uh, the, those electronic technologies, are not as safe as they want to make them to be, and we have to find ways to make it safe. And so those cryptocurrencies seem to have this technology that are pretty well handled. So that that is really what gives it value. I do not accept payments on that. I do not invest in that. But but who knows? Maybe um, they, they maybe say that everything has interest in any form in any way. So I just uh, the, the painting behind me is. Um, just wanted to bring that up because someone asked me the question. Here is it's like a little scene from a, it's on the cardboard. It's those two people that are meeting in the gallery. This, uh, and this is another painting, uh, another scene, more important painting. With the eye of Horus, the symbol of, uh, uh, it says one here on top, and it says the symbol of Fortuna, the best goddess Fortuna. Here, the symbol of Zeus on the light, on the lamp. On the drawer, there is Chiron. Here, it says paradise. Uh, there is the three three graces here, and then this, this main character here has got his soul on his shoulder and a little tiny ego here. And uh, there's all those paintings, but I, I do not see what I could do to make it better, so I said I'm going to leave it like that. I think it's quite nice. I really like that painting. I think it's quite strong. I'm going to finish with a song. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's an old folk song. It's what, uh, it's with, uh, I'll sing it peacefully because it was you during the, 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 um, the American Wars. In the, and so, so now I'm, I'm going to sing it, but uh, in a peaceful way. It's about the truth that is marching on. It goes like this. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling at the vantage where the grapes of rest are stored. He has lost the face for lighting of his terrible sweet sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. In the beauty of the lilies, Christ was born across the sea with a glory in his bosom that transfigures you and me. As he died to make man holy, let us live to make man free. As truth is marching on, glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah, glory, glory, hallelujah, his truth is marching on. Well, thank you very much for sticking till the end, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. And commenting, if you like, I wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.